Porzinja, som si živek som desas, is Marvel racist for making Falcon, Black Captain America featuring Nudrotic, another Nudrotic video from Unsubscribe Podcast, yeah, th th this uh, videos, Nudrotic videos have been eye-opening for me, because I don't follow Hollywood thing and latest fad, I just hear about it like, okay, and have general uh, feel of it, but uh, obviously it's like, Re really weird when you, when I hear about all these fucking details. Uh, the Netflix series uh, of Witcher, I was really invested in. It was one of the first encounter where like, mm, okay, like, feels things are feeling weird, especially second and third season, right? First season was already kind of weird, but I'm like, okay, maybe they're trying to do different thing of it. Surely they'll like tie it in in second and third season, right? Because even in the Witcher show, which Witcher wasn't, Geralt wasn't part, of, center part of it. I'm like, okay, maybe it's the introductory season. They'll make second and third season better that way, but no, actually they made it worse. Didn't even touch the, whatever the blood or whatever the origin, blood origin, whatever that was, even touch it, right? Because it all felt weird, right? Look, I'm all for like, uh, you know, like woke messages and everything, but you need to do it right, right? I don't know, it just feels weird. Any, you know, like, any woman I'll show this to have, have this, you know, s same kind of feel to it, right? Like, they, they think s similar to what I'm saying basically right now. So it's not some like, oh, you're male, so you're feeling it. No, everybody's just like, you're making it weird. Right, that's the thing. You could have done this right. You want to show girl boss element, sh show it right. Wonder Woman is a great example. Every, Wonder Woman was a success, the first movie right? Nobody's like, oh, wait a minute. So uh, I've seen like all, all those Disney issues, right? Where they actually attack people, like how they're like sexist and all that, really. So you didn't do right, right? You didn't uh, respect the source material. You didn't actually make the entertainment, but you just made some shit that reflects your ideology. And when people don't like it, you actually call them sexist. So we have to like it. Is that it? Nobody like, you know, bitch about Wonder Woman. Everybody loved it. It was a massive success. I mean, come on. Black Panther was a massive success. So there's no racist or sexist element. It's just like you don't make things good. That's your problem. And, you know, Rings of Power was like a big on the face thing because Lord, I love Lord of the Rings. The Hobbit series, Lord of the Rings series, I loved it. Ring of Power, as soon as the first two episodes, and I just like, I didn't even realize why I'm not watching it, but I just stopped watching it. And after, after months, I realized, wait a minute. I didn't even touch the third episode and I'm like, I don't care. Because it just didn't feel right. I wasn't really critically thinking it. Why it didn't I feel right? Back of my mind, I'm just like, I don't want to watch it. And Marvel, I don't know. Like recent Marvel things, I'm not really keeping up with that. Like after Endgame, I don't really give a shit, right? I'm guessing it like really went bad. Just the way Witcher and like Rings of Power did. So I'm glad I didn't watch it apparently. But yeah. Black Falcon, you know, uh, Black Captain America, Falcon. Yeah, I mean, that that's the latest movie, right? I saw the trailer, I, I'm guessing. Yeah, I saw the trailer. And with the Red Hulk, right? Red Hulk? Yeah, Red Hulk is in there. So, is is this not part of the comics? Is that what you're saying? Because I, I don't, I'm not a fan of comics. I've never read Marvel comics. I always assume everything they're doing is based on comics and comic story. So I just assumed that Falcon became Black Captain America in the comics long ago, and they're just doing that here. I didn't know this, like, uh, the movie creative, creative idea. So let's do this one. You have Sam Wilson, who is a black superhero, who is Marvel's second black superhero after Black Panther, a, a, uh, a seminal character. Who second? Was, or he, he, I thought second, he was first. Second. He's the second. Black Panther was first. Oh, well, you mean in the comics? In the comics, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. So he is the second black superhero that Marvel had. That In the movie, uh, Black Panther was in Infinity War? Was it before that? Avengers and then Avengers Infinity War. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in Infinity War, right? Or something like that. Falcon existed before that? I don't know. Like, I've watched all of that, but I'm really confused with the timeline. That people had to follow. They made a Mego of him when I was a kid. I remember having the, my, my Falcon. So, pretty seminal character. And I they, like him in the movie. Yeah. Like, he's great. He's if he was leading the Avengers as Falcon, nobody would have a problem. But you have to make him... For one, it, it's such a cheap way to do it. But you're giving, basically, the black person, the white person's hand-me-downs. And this, I'm taking this from Eric July. 
uh, my friend Eric July. So you're giving the black person, the white person's hand-me-downs because the white person's more legitimate. Because I, that costume's more legitimate. When Falcon is a legitimate character on his own, and if you want to make him better, do what they did with Iron Man was never an A-list character in the Marvel comics. Like, no, he was yeah. fucking secondary for a long time. But he's A-list time. now because they made him into an A-list character. You can do the same thing with Falcon. But if they hold up that, hold up that Iron Man wasn't supposed to be one of the main characters. Like, in DC, Batman is like, not just one of the main characters. If you really look for it, like that would be the main character, even above Superman. Because I'm pretty sure Superman versus Batman, Batman somehow wins. It just shows that even though he's just human with no power, he's so powerful here that he can even like find a way to defeat Superman or something. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I, I read it somewhere, right? Like I'm pretty sure Batman wins or something in the comics. But uh, I always assume that's the element with in Marvel, like uh, Captain America and Iron Man, is like kind of like two main characters. I didn't know Iron Man wasn't a main character in the comics. That's some baller move. That's creativity right there, right? Of all the latest creativity you hear of, like, it's all shit. Ruins the source material. With the Iron Man, they just, like, hit perfectly. The whole phase one or whatever that is, all the way to Endgame, was so good. It's, like, one of the best eras of all time. It just made ridiculous money. Everybody was invested. Everybody loves Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. is great. That's the point. Casting and everything was just perfect. You can't really see it any different way, right? But with the Falcon, he's, he's right. Like, okay, Falcon is the newer Avenger. He's the leader. He's, the, he's just as good as Captain America, if not more. He's going to lead us. He has the, like, you know, it factor just like Iron Man had, right? Uh, Batman has, Iron Man has. He doesn't have that much of power, but he just has his thing, and there you go. No, no, no. He has to be new Captain America. So people, this, inc- you know, woke people who want to level the field, basically is doing racism racism instead of removing it it's like uh, you know like morgan freeman said how to stop racism stop talking about it right if if you see race everywhere in order to try to remove racism you are the one who's doing racism because you're seeing race everywhere right that's just insane but, but you know, morgan freeman had this whole bit uh, black history month you're trying to remove racism by giving me black history month what history month is yours and like what white people have history month what jewish people have history month you don't have one so i don't need a black history month type of way you're basically doing racism by doing that they made falcon lead the avengers right now as falcon Mm -hmm. i don't think anybody have a fucking problem because he's been there since what not at all soldier not like it would be better having putting him in this hybrid falcon he looks like a fucking downhill skier (laughs) and like (laughs) He looks like Frozone from The Incredibles. He does. And then, like, if you want to think about it, like, if I was I'm drawing thirsty. the comic, I'd go, well, how does this work that a guy with no powers is wielding a shield with wings? What if... Another thing is, like, casting matters, right? It's like YouTube, right? In YouTube, if you want, like Mr. Beast said, right? Like, if you want, if you want your videos to be successful, thumbnail is the most important because that's the people click on doesn't matter how good whatever you're doing, your casting matters. People like Robert Downey Jr. was so good, Iron Man got elevated, right? Like that's how good he was, right? So you need to have a better casting if you want to do something. Now, uh, you know, I don't know the Falcon actor, how good he is or whatever, but think of like Idris Elba or something, right? Or some other like, uh, you know, power, you know, like stoic looking actor playing that. People be instant like, you know, Denzel Washington's too old, but someone like that right instantly like oh that's so good right so casting also matters if you want to if you want to connect with people you need to have a better cast because a rich billionaire looking guy iron man robert downey jr come on obviously he just like whiff of that so it just worked like that if he fucking throws the shield and eclipses one of his wings and he's got no power and he, he fucking, dies in a plane he crash dies. like <laughs> and he's not a super soldier so he doesn't he should he's be. a human that's the crazy part it's he like, is a regular is human he can Human. get broken pretty easily. You know, Bucky, superpowers. He's got yeah. superpowers and the arm. What the fuck, man? He's so right. Captain Amir swings his shield because he's a superhuman. Even if it hits him, he's like, ah, fucking, just like, that was a blunder. If, if it hits Falcon, Falcon's going to be dead. This is insane. I didn't even thought of that. Like, you need to think of this, like, the great thing about Marvel, like Neil deGrasse Tyson even said, like, compared to DC, is like it's rooted in somewhat science. There are scientists in there. There are like tech geniuses in there. 
it tries to root in reality it just feels you connect with it subconsciously you don't realize it you need to figure shit out like this smaller things otherwise people are like what the fuck is this you know they're like this yeah. dude's fucking normal though as you're saying it is that uh hey we have to make him captain america for whatever reason instead of hey like and, we can just no make it this was dude we need badass. a black man as captain america let's pick that Falcon, what's the black one that's not bl called black something? Falcon, we'll do that. And they built it up. Bucky is literally the equivalent of Captain America. They're both the same fucking age. They grew up together. They both have super human serum, like all that shit. It's this. It's this yeah, they're, they're supposed to be the same, isn't it? But, uh, you know, Bucky's supposed to be somewhat advanced or something. But Captain America's is better because he's whatever, Captain America. I guess you can still like Bucky was never that mentality. You need this in the end, like as a Batman Superman thing, like Batman is, you know, uh, some certain need factor in the brain. But yeah, I don't know. You should, if you were going to do this, you should have elevated Falcon before like phase one or something. You should have like, okay, phase one's going to die. Like whatever we're going to like, we need, we're going to need another Captain America. You should have had the like build up from the start. Like we have to make someone, okay, we're going to make Falcon new Captain America. You should have built him up like some it factor type of superhero. So you just like, wh why is that guy so good? Why is that guy so good? So good. Even though he's not one of the main guys and that would have clicked like, oh, it's the, now he's black Captain America, whatever. Right. But they're just like willy nilly this shit, like without actually having some kind of like a history. The same picture and they built it up they nodded to it throughout and it, the and then they it's fucking his had story some... of redemption because he was used as a sleeper soldier assassinating americans and all this and for him to take the mantle like it, it meant something yeah sam just like hey I, you know he was hanging around as like their little buddy and then he just gets promoted why not because he's powerful he's not like particularly smart strategy he might be a good leader if you show that later but um he doesn't have any money and falcon and winter soldier he gets denied a fucking bank loan. Yeah, and then he gets... Uh, he does. There's a scene where, because I he's black, he gets that. denied yeah. a bank a loan to buy a boat because it's Oh, yeah, retarded. for a secondary business. Yeah, he doesn't know, sister. you know, Pepper Potts. He doesn't know, uh, you know, he didn't know Tony Stark, who was dead at the time. He doesn't know a few people that are probably really fucking rich. Despite being a yeah. Avenger. Despite being an Avenger. Holy shit, I forgot about that. that if David that Hall part. can get into fucking Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Falcon can get a loan for a boat i forgot about that entire sequence where it's like he was an avenger yeah that is so insane he can't buy a boat right it was like what movies was kind of like was it after end game i don't know like i'm fuzzy like where i stopped watching somewhere around end game but that was so insane like okay really this this famous guy they're actually popular in the lore amongst public all oh, they are the avengers like you basically celebrity at the time and if anything a modern world tells us with the hug to a girl and things like that if you become famous, you basically get monetized at a ridiculous level. You don't have money to buy a boat, really? Like some social, you could have become social media personality. Just being Falcon or whatever, you would have a lot of money. He fought along all these people and then <laughs> he can't afford a boat because they have to get black. You can't get I a mean, bank I mean, loan. That's the equivalent to being like a pop star at that, like in that universe, right? Yeah, like, yes. yeah. you're one of the like, most famous people on earth. Do a YouTube video that will pay for every I bill just you said that. Go fund me. Like everybody pay for everybody, <laughs> every bill. Like, hey, I saved your ass in the I battle. I saved the world. And, like, and it's I not just, just like having a Medal of Honor. <laughs> go fund me. Hey, I saved your ass. I deserve a fucking boat. Go fund me. Or something like that. Like in the fucking like Spider Man movies, as soon as Tony Stark dies, like there's murals everywhere of Iron Man. Like it's a very public zeitgeist. Yeah, like yeah. these are the heroes. Yeah. I, dude, I forgot about that. I, and then, yes, he just handed the shield and you're like, yep. Brother. So what you're saying is the Marvel Universe is pushing the black man down. They, yes, they are. I mean, they, they <laughs> wouldn't let him get a fucking boat. They wouldn't let him get a boat. And they had to have, like hand him a, a costume of a character. Yeah, but they could be pointing out the inequality of the world type of element like in the real world this happens type of way it could be like one of the, one of the things they're trying to do so it's not like off like uh, oh mistakenly mistakenly they are doing racism no maybe they're trying to show like oh world is racist or whatever character he doesn't even fit the power sec for uh just because they wanted to have a black captain america and if that's your only reason of doing it then that's kind of fucking racist if you think about it for just a half a second <laughs> you could have had a very powerful movie and that's the best side it's it's not the approach of like oh that's racist to say that it's like no it's more racist to feel that is how you 
make that movie happen versus, hey, look, watch. We can do a movie separate, build this guy's Let's lore. Make a Falcon movie. But, but isn't in Marvel, Captain America is supposed to be the first Avenger as the Avenger. He's the guy who says, like, Avengers assemble. He's supposed to be the leaders of Avengers. Isn't that, like, established in the comics? Maybe they're trying to keep that alive. Like, if you want to, like, lead Avengers, you have to be Captain America type of way. Regardless, that could be the element is what I'm thinking. But then again, Iron Man, if Iron Man is supposed to be the main guy in the comics and they somehow elevated him at the level, like, he's probably one of the two, two top guys in Marvel, right? In, in the uh, movie books, in the movie world, right? He's the guy who just, like, does this and, like, saves everyone. He died saving everyone. Like, you, can you get any better? But Captain America just lived his whole life. He's like, fuck everything. Well, Iron Man died and saved everyone. So, it technically, he's elevated above everyone. And if you can do that with Iron Man, right? You can just say, like, oh, Falcon is the new leader of Avengers. Why not? We make a, they did a Falcon series. Do a, yeah. d- d- make a Falcon movie. That's all Which, you need to do. I, while I didn't really like the writing for that show, I do like the banter between Bucky and Falcon. Yeah. I, I think they are though. very funny, so, like, together. So here's the racism. Wait a minute, that was a show, right? Bulky and Falcon, what was it called? Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You making some secondary, insignificant level shit about a guy you're going to make the main guy of your whole franchise. You need to have some kind of, it's like, you know, one of those action stars, like Jason says, I'm saying, like, I'm not going to get my ass kicked somewhere, or I'm not going to be in a clown suit or something, because I'm Jason Statham. My aura diminishes. If you're going to make a Falcon the next big guy, you need to keep his aura from now on. You can't have him some buddy cop movie style secondary small show where he does things, and then he's going to become, it's like Captain America had proper movies. Captain America didn't do TV shows. Because he's Captain America, same thing with Iron Man. Why are you making buddy cops type of shit there when you're going to actually make him the main guy? To me, it feels like this is all just last second decision. They didn't realize they are going to do this or something. Why not just make a solo Falcon movie with a black start? Well, the reason is they know it wouldn't sell. And they don't want to put the investment in it to make it sell, which would be good writing. It's much easier. Hey, let's put Captain America's so clothes good. on him, on the black person. And that'll sell the movie. Hey. I mean, think about that. A little. I mean, Black Panther sells, right? So Marvel is racist if they're thinking that. What it is, like, you need a good story. And, <laughs> like, you're not going to have a good story, right? Black Panther had all this type of, like, Wakanda and all this, like, cultural element behind it that really connect to people. Falcon, like, you'd need really, you really need some good-ass story. Like, it's really going to be hard to do little bit if they were really about this shit they would take falcon they, they would put the top-notch writer a top-notch director and make a falcon movie or yeah, and it would sell what it is would. the dumbest who wrote the original captain america movies right first and second probably first grab that guy and tell him to make a falcon movie i don't care take you know what we're gonna put everything on shelf everything about marvel because we want to establish some baseline so we don't lose money Time, time is not that much. We made too much money now. Time is not that important. Okay, you know what? I'll give you two fucking years. Have all the freedom you want. Write a good story. And after two years, I'll make a Falcon movie. And then we'll move on to like making Falcon some big guy. Like that would fucking work. Like build a slow build up. This Iron Man was 2008. Endgame was like way back like after a long time. Right? So you can have long build ups. And you can milk that. Have multiple movies between them. Why not? Multiple Falcon movies. That would work. People have subliminal messages in their head. If you make multiple Falcon movies, people don't see Falcon as an important character. When, even if they don't like Falcon, they start like, oh, Falcon's big, Falcon's heavy. They start to think that. You need to invest in Falcon, right? In WWE, right? If they're trying to make somebody big, they'll give him a lot of TV time, whether people like him or not. Eventually, people like it. Look at Roman Reigns. People love him now. Because of like they showed him enough, like people like, oh, he's big, and like, yes, yeah, some good storytelling. There you go. Marvel Part fans is, would have no problem with this. No, like everyone would fucking love that approach. We've talked about it multiple times. It's like, hey, why, why cater or force this audience versus? Can, hey, like, how can you tell me a Falcon show or movie wouldn't sell, but you're making Agatha all along? Like, yeah, are you fucking kidding you're me? Spending the same amount yeah. of money on a TV yep. show for something nobody wanted. Panther was a great... Okay, how is that even Witcher, Agatha? Like, okay, I, no, not Witcher, sorry. How is that even Marvel, right? 
how is that even Marvel? I got like all this sorcery, like what is this Disney? Well, you know, okay, Marvel is not, but not you know what I mean. What is this Disney Mickey Mouse shit? Uh, it doesn't feel like I get in Marvel. It's like really vast and all that, but it feels weird, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I I don't understand that whole thing. Doctor Strange was already like too strange. It's like okay, fine. I I guess I can accept that. But now with this kind of thing, like okay. Great example of like look how yep. good that did. And it wasn't creating a new thing. It was like, hey, like Black Panther. Of course not. They took the plot for Lion King. <laughs> established character. <laughs> took the plot for Lion King. No, established character. It is 100%. As soon as you realize that Black Panther is the fucking Lion King with Michael B. Jordan, it's kind of great. And it's a, it's a super mid movie, but like yeah. at least it was a, like it was a character that I read when I was a kid and I liked a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, Black Panther was a mid movie, but it wasn't about the story. It's about the whole element of Wakanda and like different. Uh, before Black Panther, if you see all Marvel movies, they will have some form of similarities. Black Panther didn't. Black Panther was completely different in that way, right? It was culturally different. A lot of things were different, right? It was cool to see this like tribalistic uh, looking element, but somehow that's advanced than anything else, right? Wakanda was insanely advanced and all that. So it was like creative take on shit, which was like interesting to people. Story didn't matter that much. I, I uh, actually, I liked it a lot more the second time I watched it. Uh, I thought, I think the CG is dog shit. It is. Um, but it's got, at least it has a good villain. And Chadwick Boseman was a really good Black Panther. Yes. His, his, oh, the yeah, best yeah. version of it's in Civil War, but he was a really fun. And they should have recast him. And instead, they exploited his death and. Uh, didn't put Black Panther in the Black Panther. Well, the Black Panther wasn't in the Black Panther sequel, but they made him a skinny little girl at the end of the fucking movie. It was such it was such a bait and switch and terrible. And and it pissed off all the Black Panther fans. They're like, we should. They one Chadwick what? Boseman don't wanted you, them to. Yeah, I, I never saw the, the second. Yeah, don't don't. Yeah, Wakanda they, forever. I it's, yeah. second. They they destroy. Well, not only Black Panther, they destroy Namor. Na Namor is so fucking dumb in that movie. They got rid of. He's like, Namor. Who is it? He's Namor. He's, uh, they make uh, Prince Namor, who, like, if you so look at him died. in the comics, like, if you're going to say if he's another race, probably Asian. That'd be probably my guess is Asian. Uh, they make him into, like, a Mayan god, but he's a mutant. And they can't say Submariner, so they call him Namor. And uh, it's, it's, I can't really express how not the character it is. It's so fucking bad. And it was done for identity politics. Well, that, that was his new name. It's not his dead name. Don't say his dead name. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Dear God. That's true. Right. I shouldn't be dead naming. You fucking bigot. Namor. I'm a bigot. So because uh, he went through. That's the one he died before that one. All that shit about like getting pissed off over semantics. Look, man, here's what education failure is like kind of leading a lot with most of the modern issues like this, where people don't realize context. People don't realize some things are just semantics. You need to understand the context and like you need to like what is the feel around it rather than just like sticking all like like stupidly over some ridiculous shit that doesn't matter and alienate people. This is a problem modern world doesn't realize. And I always come back to like, we are living such a leisure life. People don't give a shit about education and like educate themselves. People aren't reading that much book, right? Even though it feels like oh, e-books, this and that, people are not doing that. And it, it, you can really see with this woke shit, like the idea should work. Progressiveness should work, but it's not working because the people who are doing it are morons. That's the problem, right? They don't know how to do it. And the way they do it is alienating everyone. When it was released, or like halfway through filming, or like at the beginning. Of no, he died. He died before. He died before. Released, before. Or before it was filmed. Like, right? He was okay. he was dying when he filmed um, Endgame. His scenes for Endgame. Yeah. Which also shout out to that dude because that is holy shit. Yeah. He did it never said a goddamn thing. Like I didn't period. even know he was sick. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it was the, it, it was that, and then passed, and everyone was like, "Holy shit!" He went through all this without saying a thing. Seriously, caught me off guard. Right, but I was like, oh, Black Panther 2 is making, oh, it's going to be fun, it's going and suddenly the news, I'm like, what the fuck, was that an accident, like, you know, uh, Paul Walker, I'm like, what the fuck, was that an accident, no, wait a minute, it was slow, something, I'm like, what the, f am I that out of loop, but no, he just didn't tell anyone, I mean, it's his, 
it, it's his thing, right? Whether he want to tell people or not. It, you know, I've seen certain people even get pissed off. They're like, okay, she should have told us. It's his life, right? Shut the fuck up. He doesn't owe you anything. That really pissed me off. I've seen certain comments like that, right? At the time, it really pissed me off. Like, really? Right? Love Black Panther movie. Love his movies. And then fuck off, right? You know, people like sometimes even think that they own actors or something, right? Really? It was his thing. Respect his wishes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like people really need to like educate themselves, man. Bang. And then that got him more respect for all the roles he did leading up to that. And then you have that turd that fell right after. And you're like, my well, guy, so, this is an well, easy layup at this point. Well, dude, it's like filming our little things that we do. You know, we'll, we'll do like two, three day film days. And we're like, fuck, we're wrecked. That dude went through that whole movie like dying of cancer and just yeah. held up as a champ. Which explains why. He probably did chemotherapy and everything. Chemotherapy fuck you up properly. It's damaging to you. Damages your energy level and everything. How did he do all that shit? Like level of determination is like damn. I like his his bit was short, like outside of the CG suit and everything, yeah. but still like colon cancer is very aggressive. Yeah. From my understanding, like that's one of those like you find out you have it and you die. Yeah, that's what killed my dad. So it's brutal. Fuck. It's brutal mm -hmm. to watch. So like yeah, he had oh, major balls for like the way he went. Yeah, man, this is just, cancer is just like, <laughs> one of the, you know, if you're some form of like OCD element, I don't know, OCD, and you, you like somewhat controlling way panic about things, cancer is the most panicky thing because it's just like come out of nowhere, not much of symptoms, you have to look for it. Cancer is that fucked up, you have to look for it. In your mind, you're like, okay, maybe if I get sick, fever, pain, I'll go to the doctor. That doesn't work with cancer. Right, so what do checks every time? Even the medical checks might not be hundred percent. It might it might sneak through. What the fuck are you supposed to do? I don't know. I guess like Russian roulette. It's so fucked up. Cancer is that fucked up, right? You can only hope that it's one of the th one of the cancers that easily detectable, maybe, and it's like uh, you know curable because the problem is that most of the cancer people get right, the common ones are kind of the fucked up ones. It's like very hard to cure and things like that, which is like. You, intuitively, you wouldn't think that. You would think like, okay, surely the most common one would be the one who's like most curable. Probably not. That's just fucked up. Right, well, that was is moral racist for making Falcon black and white. Yeah, yeah, pr definitely, right? It's like it's the whole problem with the progressiveness going today that they are doing racism in order to cure it. So I didn't even thought thought of it in that way, but yeah, it definitely is the case apparently. Right, this was channel unsubscribe clips. I don't know why my words are stuttering. Uh, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.